And as always, we are back talking about the episode of Togusatsu we watched this week. I'm one of your hosts, Sleepy Witch, joined by DJ Zer, the 2.5D here talk tuber. I I love that the intro for the Gav episode is just like Shoma here. I met a guy. I met another guy just like me. <laughs> it's so funny. They are so dumb. This this like I I am I am just in love with this uh with this um like trio uh what's 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 it called uh uh dynamic that's dynamic, the word i was looking yeah. for yeah i i love mm-hmm. this dynamic i fucking love that like he frees the artist girl and just like okay okay we gotta pretend that was here this whole time <laughs> it's so good oh like, man shoma shoma has uh, like shoma has so many good moments this episode like you know you, you, we, we might as well just jump straight to it so um this is the first time um like hanto was actually was able to see uh someone before they transformed mm-hmm. um uh but uh yeah he basically like you know listened that uh, he basically listened to uh suga say that oh yeah that's right they cannot hide their stomachs so it's like hanto basically shows up and says hey let's let's look uh um I, I i think i think that a uh, curator guy is uh is um suspicious uh, is a monster and then after that it's like wait 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 no no let me let me get this shoma and it's like yeah shoma was saying that and then he spills tea and it's like oh no no let me get that for you and then lifts up the shirt and then just goes ah bakemono yeah the most deadpan it's a monster <laughs> it's so good it's oh man i i was just cry laughing like it it was Shoma, so good. It's so funny. Shoma's such a funny little guy, and I love that this episode basically starts with like, haha, look, Shoma's being kind of cute. Uh, cuts to Valen getting the shit kicked out of him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, man, oh, there man. were so many good shots. Uh, everyone is obsessed with uh with older sister right now. Oh yeah, Glora. <laughs> For yeah. good reason. Um, my 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 friend just messaged me today saying um saying that uh um. Uh, I pledge my life to Glotta. I'm like, I saw, I fucking, man, she picks him up by the little fucking chocolate visor and headbutts him and then headbutts him again. Yeah. And then what's also great, too, what's also cool, uh, funny too, but I mean, I just love this for the stunt actors, is just how you can see just how um, padded the, the, the chocolate is. <laughs> yeah. He gets kicked in the chest, chest so many times. He really does. Uh, he gets kicked, he gets stomped, he gets headbutted. Uh, I saw I saw a tweet and it was just like, it is so hard being a lesbian in the Tokusatsu community because you I'm seeing this lady and you're telling me I'm supposed to be rooting for the little dumbass twin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every <laughs> yeah. Oh man, but yeah, like he, he yeah he 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 just gets his ass beat and Glota just walks away. It's like okay, cool. I yeah. Uh-oh. As always with Twitter being annoying, I like the like dude is in one f- like in like his second fight and people are like, oh no, he's not gonna beat the Valvarat allegations. I was <laughs> like, bro, he has barely showed up. Can we shut up? <laughs> Talking about win ratios, um, yo, shout out, shout out to Toku stats once again. We're bringing up Toku stats. I love Toku stats. Gotchard, almost <laughs> undefeated, eighty percent win rate, only point yeah. six below. Uh, was it Kabuto? Yeah, Kabuto, which is insane because Kabuto is literally Jesus as a rider, pretty much. I mean, okay, all all we're saying. Yeah, like he, like yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sorry, no, no. It's 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 three percent below, but like it is just insane. And the funniest thing too is that like when uh right before uh Tokusat said that he said that um only two heroes have had a win rate uh, have had a win rate in the top ten, which basically means that there are villains. That have way higher win rates. Of course, I I I, th- I think we're all expecting Evil to be number one. Ah, uh, yeah, but... Evil's win rates like ridiculous. Evil, <laughs> like what? Evil lost like once. The one time it mattered. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, it's so funny. Yeah, it's like I, it's like I love this. But yeah, like the fact that yeah, the fact that uh, our our our, our funny little our funny little man just said uh, yeah, know, good has, win has rate, good win rate. rate. I to be fair, a couple series haven't been tracked yet. So someone from Ahito, Ryuki, Hibiki, Deno, Kiva, Decade, Wizard, Go, Zio, or Revice could technically have a better win rate. But regardless, yeah. he's at the top. Yeah, uh, he is at the top. So I, I'm proud of him. Uh, yes. <laughs> looking down and seeing build at 67, I'm like, yeah, that sounds about right. 
Yeah. He the, uh, I he loved you. Right I loved you, Sento. You lost a good chunk of times. Yeah, got, got him right. Uh, got him with an even worse re and it's like, yeah, yeah, that yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. X eight, X eight, so far having the lows. I'm like, oh, that makes all the sense. Like, okay, like um, I've, I I I make jokes about this, and you know, I'm gonna make this joke just so that we could go back to uh, go back to talking about Gav. But um, X eight is a series where um, it actually gets really depressing. Do you remember when like Build had a uh, like two episodes in the middle where they didn't have the opening because it was really really serious yeah um x8 has like six episodes in a row without uh without openings because it was that serious i mean uh, yeah yeah it was i can so j drama it was it was amazing but uh yeah. speaking about j drama the twins are fired uh <laughs> yeah i loved i always love i don't know if it's like a trope or like a thing i love the writing thing of like oh I accidentally, I, you know, someone reveals something and then it's like, I reveal something and be like, oh yeah, I totally agree. And it's like, I didn't say anything about that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say anything about that one. It's like, it's like, it's like oh yeah, I, so uh, so we saw someone that was beating up to say, yeah, that red gav. I didn't say anything about red gav. Yeah, mm -hmm. you guys have to just call him an asshole. But they've been fired. I'm glad that like it's fired and not killed. Uh, I yeah. was thinking like, oh, is, are they going to be gone that long? And I know people... Uh, and I know people like have been posting art of like Glada just like above them, like petting their heads, like you'll always be our sibling. Like there's some really evil art looking at her. It's real so good. <laughs> yeah, uh, I I I I I, lo I love this. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, yeah. But um, uh, my uh, favorite part from the last yeah. episode is back. Uh, their little inner monologues are still really funny. <laughs> oh man, and the. <laughs> I, I I love the inner monologues. Um, like like this episode, like you know, just basically just keeps like you know bringing so much humor for so that's actually for like a series that has such messed up things, which is just humans getting eaten. Like nah. it's so funny. Like <laughs> I just love that we got a fucking the... time lapse of like Hanto just sleeping on the grass for like eight hours. Yeah. Um. The... The museum curator guy comes back wearing <laughs> wearing a, a fake mustache and a hat. Yeah, now he's Italian. It's so funny. Yeah. And then and 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 then uh, and then we do have um uh and then we do have uh, Shoma uh, doing his henshin and uh, grabbing the gummy so they that that Hanto doesn't see. Yeah, there's something really funny. Again, there's some really good shots. I love the shot of, you know, the henshin with the door and behind the door, like, we do have a really nice frame shot of, like, fucking Hanto kicking and shit. Yeah. Like, oh, uh, you're here, too. Uh, I, I love that he just kind of, like, really awkwardly, like, walks into the frame. Like, yeah. what's up? <laughs> Yeah, uh, and then and, and then we also get like you know we we also get uh, some really cute moments too where it's like uh where it's like when uh, uh when uh, Choco uh, when Choco Don for him comes out um like he he basically hands him a gun so they basically just go guns blazing yeah I was wondering about that because I thought hot so originally I had not seen the Valen driver or the mm -hmm. Valen changer right and so I just thought he brought his he had his own gun. I thought he had the white one, so I'm like, oh, okay, he's gonna have a gun. And then I saw the driver, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. So he he had you know he kind of has it built in, uh, which is then like, okay, does that mean that like later he's going to uh, like where did the other where does other gun come from? And it's like, oh, that's just the white chocolate. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, like, like that that was actually really awesome. I I, I love seeing the fact that you know they they uh, they they were able to just like you know work uh, like work together immediately. Cause it's great, like you know they're 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 trying to act so cool for the other one. Also, again, <laughs> like yeah. we talked about this before. It is the same guy from last week that Shoma did kill. Cause I I feel like I ended the episode mm -hmm. the, the when we were talking about that. I mean, like I thought Gav fucking killed that guy. So I thought it was gonna be the two v one on Grada, but it's like oh no, he's still alive. And yeah. you know we get a cute thing where Sachika pours paint on him because he's like fuck you, you're an asshole for you know playing with people's feelings. Uh, and then they're able to find out that like, oh, there's a fake, there's a real one and some duplicates because of the paint. It's like, oh, that's cute, you know. Yeah, and then and then they win the fight, and then something is like, oh wait, you guys are the common riders, and immediately starts taking pictures and a selfie with them. And, and like, the I love how they're just like vaguely like, uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> and they're like, wait, 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 wait. Oh wait, no, no, we shouldn't be taking pictures like this. And yeah, they start running away. Like it's so funny. <laughs> Uh, which, you know, leads into some really cute stuff with them all walking together being like, uh, what happened? Were you scared? Were you going to see him? It's like, no, I just got lost. 
uh me too uh <laughs> i love she was like making jokes like did you get uh you know scared and run off i also love that like her nicknames for everyone i love umosho i love hanfi yeah uh and i love their last little monologue being like you should stop looking into the common rider uh <laughs> because knowing because knowing you you're gonna jump into things without thinking it and she's like hey what does that mean <laughs> and they're like oh shit did we say that out loud what are you talking about and they just like run away like oops and then and, and then she pulls them back in and <laughs> oh very cute uh, uh, yeah uh, like the fact the fact that the fact that like this th this whole secret uh secret identity thing just keeps getting dumber by the second yeah it's so funny it really is uh <laughs> we got candy next week we're getting a halloween episode yeah uh, not exactly on halloween but like pretty close Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah it's it's yeah it's, it's it's cute it's cute that we're getting that we're finally getting um like okay so i thought it was gonna i thought it was gonna be cg i thought this this uh lollipop this polypop uh um suit uh, yeah suit was gonna be um well, yeah, i'm it was, with was you gonna be i thought it uh, was CG. cg i thought they had just done a really good job making it look like the other suits for like the promo videos yeah, but no, it's it's actually a suit. And then I remember it, well, bringing it back to X-Aid, X-Aid has Maximum Gamer, which is like one of the biggest suits you will ever see in a in a uh, in a Toku. And it's really funny to see because it's so bulky, but like sure. this this thing is huge. <laughs> like curious. yeah, 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 just look up yeah, level 99 maximum gamer. Let's see. Oh, he is he is thick. He's gigantic. Yeah. No, yeah, and that's like a real suit, huh? Yeah, it's 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 a real suit, and they use it a lot. <laughs> yeah, there's like a there's like an evil version too. Oh yeah, yeah, that is I think a uh, level one million uh, genius gamer or something like that. I can't, uh, I can't remember. It's a gem what it was. god maximum gamer level billion. Oh, level billion. Okay, yeah, I I I was off by um a factor. <laughs> of a lot uh, yeah God. anyway ark is in the hospital uh i do love i think we talked about it a little bit with uh with gotcha going back to that slightly i think it's kind of cool that whenever there's been like a switch up on the like we're getting to this next like part of the story we're doing mm. like a different verse of the song yes and so we did yeah. that with the same the same thing with the arc opening so it's still the same song it's just the uh the, the other verse uh, oh, you mean Blazer you meant, right? I said I meant Ark. Oh, oh, Ark, 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 Ark as well too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, no, that's right, that's right. I forgot you were talking. About, you were thinking about Gotcha, and then you're talking about Ark. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm talking about Gotcha because we got the the second verse of Kemi's story, mm -hmm. and now we're getting yeah. the second verse of uh, or uh, not the second, but the uh, the next verse of uh, Jump into the Sky. Yep. Uh, and um, yeah, like we didn't talk about it last week. We we're talking about also this this shift is that uh, the ending song changed as well too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> which that one like. That one weirds me out because they still have the same visuals oh, yeah. uh, starting. And so I'm like, I'm expecting a specific, I'm, spe I'm already like expecting the other one where the different one plays. I'm like, ooh, okay. Okay, right, right, right. They did this. Uh, but yeah, um, but yeah, uh, he uh, he finally tells them the truth <laughs> about all the information, information suppression and all that stuff. Yep. Onyx is basically a black hole as far as, you know, GGF technology can tell. You know, it's it's a gate that's kind of... Black holes are technically theorized, to, you know, that there could be stuff on the other side, but obviously we have no way of ever checking, like, a real black hole safely and everything. Uh, yeah. Also, I'm just going to cut in right here just because, uh, just because, uh, and you know what I'm getting at with this. Uh, I, I just want to take a small quick aside because uh, um, uh, if you aren't reading Radiant Black, please read Radiant Black. <laughs> yeah, speaking, yeah, speaking about black holes. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. No worries. I love the, the little kaiju we got to see in America for a little bit. That thing was weird. Really saw it for like half a second when they were making the mentions of like K Day and all the kaiju's that awakened in other places, and we just get to see mm -hmm. one in front of the Statue of Liberty, and there's this weird little shell thing. Fantastic! I love that little yeah. weirdo. Um, yeah, it's it's always it's always it's always fun when you realize that like um like it it is a meme that um every uh like every monster attacks Tokyo, but it's always funny whenever you see it, like attack other things uh, uh, other countries. Yeah, and it's especially always, and. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
but it's like, yeah, it's like, it's like they always use like a bunch of like you know really iconic landmarks. Like, oh, okay, okay, so that's where it's supposed to be. Yeah, I I really I really think it's funny because like the the um with with Ultraman art, it's just like Ultraman landed in Japan, and that's why we're in Japan. But like kaiju stuff is happening everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We're just not dealing with the stuff outside of Japan today. Uh, I love... Uh, I also had a lot of fun with this shot. I always really like whenever they, they set up little clever shots. So I really like the shot of like Yuma waking up. And it's like, oh, he's not in like the uh, the doctor or the, uh, the hospital gown. And mm-hmm. when he goes to talk, it's like, oh, it's like his little ghost popping out of his body. <laughs> That's why. Yeah. Yep, he got uh, actually projected, and yeah, he's basically like being told, like saying, "Yeah, like this is the truth. Like it's, it's it's like it's like join my side, like because you have to deal with this truth." And the funniest thing though is that Yuffie can actually uh, detect his uh, his uh, his spirit. Uh, Yuffie can detect the lady specifically. Oh, because I think the lady is like there physically, but she is like mm-hmm. invisible. Oh, you know? okay, that makes so. So, so much I think Yuffie can. Can, Yuppie can see her, and that's because remember later when he sees her, because spoiler warning, she's gonna stop. Uh, she's gonna try to get in the way of Ark. Like she's going to be like invisible, but you're but to us seeing her, we're gonna be able to see like the little reflection. So that that shows that she's like cloaked, and mm. I guess also they can't hear her. But like I think she is technically there, uh, and Yuma's there, but they they can't sense about all because Yuma is like outside of his own body. Yeah. Also, well, something that's also really interesting too about like the truth telling scene is that um they use a lot of like really um like strange angles like angled up, angled down like angles to like uh to like really like tense up this uh. Oh yeah, scene. there was there was a lot of like again the cinematography for Ark has just been great. I love seeing the little fucking CG plane try to get to the Onyx and like fucking twist on itself and explode. Yeah, <laughs> like the CG for it wasn't really really good, but I just wasn't ready for the thing to like just like. It's gone. That guy's dead. That we lost the guy in this episode. Uh, I love seeing this dumb little space kaiju jump out of its portal. Uh, he's so he's fun. So... This guy's really fun. Uh, one of my favorite things was you know seeing Yuma find out the truth. Oh hey, it looks like even if we manage to seal it, it might overflow with energy anyway. Uh, so you're doomed from the start. One of the things that I always think is, like, the rawest thing in any fiction where, like, the hero has to, like, transform or, like, they have some sort of special power that they need to, like, call upon is when, like, you know, the bad guy feels like they've gotten so deep into the head that it's like, okay, then, transform. And it's like, fuck. I can't. Yeah. Uh, but I I loved seeing him talk to Ruidon again. I loved seeing them be like, look, we can do this together. And I fucking love that, you know, you are me, you know, I am you, you are me. Yeah. What's also great, too, is that, like, you know, this also leads into uh, one of uh, one of one of my favorite lines, which we're which we're going to get to when we uh, when we get to the fight, is that this time around, uh, Yuma is the one that tells Rutian, use your imagination. Oh, that was so cool. Oh, I do also like that it, that it is canon that, like, you know, Rutan was just made of light and like the Ultraman form was something that you that yuma came up with that he took like basically like took over or whatever yeah it's so uh, good yeah it's like, sweet yeah and, uh, and, and 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 it's and it's crazy too because like you know like that lady is just is just like honestly like just no diffing arc for quite a bit yeah this is another this is uh, honestly this is another lady that i saw that tweet talking about where it's like where like the second tweet to that was like seriously there is this older evil lady in a leather jacket and i'm supposed to root for this <laughs> it, this is like this is like the sec follow-up tweet to the grota tweet uh just bring this up now where it's like i i think Toku, you got something confused here anyway yeah. i love this arc sequence i love that he shows up and it's just like so much violence he's just like chop 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 yeah uh you can see like the desperation in it you can see that he's going and we get to see <laughs> yuppie used as a scope Oh man, I just look yeah, at there, there, there's just there's just a lot that happens in this episode. Right. Uh, uh yeah. But yeah, it's like yeah, yeah, he uses the scope, Ishido's on top, like, you know, with the gun. We go into the, you know, like you said, your favorite line that, you know, use your imagination, uh, but it's set to arc, 
and he fucking does like a fucking drill spin into the core of the onyx yes uh really cool vibes uh and man i've been wondering because i see i saw like some simple pictures of like him and like these four little extra weapons i fucking love that this new cube is like gold and purple that's always a good color combination but Mm -hmm. seeing it now especially because like oh, you know, the theme for the other one is sun. The theme for the other one is moon. And I was like, I see these little purple bits and, like, the armor on him, but, like, what is, like, the theme for this? Because I, I couldn't tell. I was trying to not look into it directly. With I didn't want to thought I was trying to just, like, looking at the design. And it's like, oh, it's like the fucking black hole exploding. Yeah. Uh, it's... it's it so looks good. sick. Like, it's, it's so jagged. It's, like, like it's, 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 it's not smooth. Like, you know, it's really rough, but... Like yep. he just wields this thing and um he 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 thinks with portals. Yeah, I also love that like a little drawing gets added into his book. Very yeah, cute. Yeah, that was Very so vibe. cute. It was, it was yeah, it was basically like turning the pages of the book. It was so cute. And yep, he can he can use portals. That's another thing. Uh going back, I fucking love that this kaiju has like a fucking multi-dimensional cube attack. Uh <laughs> yeah. and I love that when he shoots the fucking beam about it and he blocks it, you can see that the beam is being reflected like in different directions as the cube is like spinning. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the, and the crazy thing about the cube too is that it's like one of those like four dimensional cubes that people like to talk about. Yeah, I said yeah. multi dimensional because technically I don't know yeah, if it's supposed to be four dimensional, it's supposed to be five. I know it's more than three. Uh, mm. I love that the little like jagged things turn into this little dagger. And I love that it's like final upgrade is like we put all of the little transformation cubes to do the like ultimate spatium beam. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, the power the fa- system. The fact that it's a new spe- yeah, the fact that it's a new spatium beam. It's like, yes, it's so good. <laughs> also, I do like the vibes that he can just teleport out of fights now. Uh, yeah. I, for a second, when you see that uh, Ishida is really confused because it's like, oh, all the readings are gone. I thought he was going to be like oh shit, because he had like the camera feed of like Yuma's room and he was gone and it's like, oh god, he's figured it out, you know? Mm. Uh, you just gotta love sec- you just gotta love secret identities. And then we end on like, oh, looks like a little bit of a portal is still open, which obviously, I mean, we knew because we've seen that like the preview for the next kaijus are all space kaijus, so like that makes yeah. sense. Mm. Uh, the one thing I'll say is next episode is another recap. Yeah. Which... <laughs> I, I'm gonna be real. Just feels real soon. <laughs> what, what's also kind of funny though, too, is that uh, this looks like it, it's gonna have more story than the one about Ishido. No, because the Ishido one was like a a recap, recap. Yeah. The uh, I don't know if you saw because I I saw it I saw because again I'm watching it on the English channel in English, but this one is going to be like the first one where mm. there's going to be like a special dub for the English channel. Oh, I didn't see that part, but uh, I might actually have to watch that one. Uh, yeah, I think I, I think I remember I told you that there was there was like some Ultraman like commentary going on in that one, mm-hmm. and so it looks like for this one we're getting the same thing where you're gonna get the straight up like recap episode in the Japanese, and then you're gonna get like a recap episode with like commentary in the English. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I thought that was cool. Uh, <laughs> speaking uh... of cool. Let's just get into fucking Boom Boongers. We have a cute He's little back welcome. In the opening. We He's got back yep. In the opening. We got a cute little welcome back party, and they even bought fucking toys of the little fucking tire monster that they're all in, that they all really like, and that Boondario is quote unquote in love with, or that's yeah. his Oshi or whatever. Yeah, it's it's so good. Like like honestly, I'm like so happy because like you know they they do uh, they they really do the whole um yeah welcome back. And then, yeah, like I said, it goes into the opening, and he's back in the opening. It's It, it, it honestly made me smile. Like, yes, thank you, cold opens. Especially because, like, I'm going to be honest, he looks... Like, when he turns around, he's like, Boom Boom, this is the place where I belong. You can mm-hmm. see that he's almost, like, tearing up. Like, it's it's nice. It's wholesome. I love that Sakito is such a little gremlin who's like, Hey, you know how we've been going around looking for him? We finally got him back, so uh, you should pay us for that. <laughs> this man's living on the streets. Please help him, Ayataya. <laughs> but we got Champion Carrier Preview. Uh, which, you know, it looks cool. Uh, I mean... Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, but yeah, yeah, like, it, it's, it's great. Also, like, you know, they get they get to ride in uh, in the in Champion uh, um, 
Uh, yeah, in the champion carry and stuff like that now too. They all get into their cards, and they're all already wearing the jackets, which is kind of great because it's like it's like oh yeah, this is just the new uniform in general. Yeah, yeah, we're setting up the jackets for this trip because they're taking the carrier. Oh hey, we're gonna take the boom boom car so some kids can see them. That's super mm-hmm. cute, and it's like his fucking father figure, dude. Who like now I'm like, how dare you? Uh, but they get attacked. We get the Mad Max guy. Yeah, the Mad Max episode. This this was honestly. This is honestly super cool. Like, yeah, I like, love that I, they had the guitar guy. Very fun. Yeah. We did like a whole I, 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 chase scene. Yeah, I, I, I normally get on like, you know, like, you know, overuse of CG, but this one was worth it. Yeah. And again, I think this is this is the thing that I, I think I've talked about it with you a bunch where it's like if we're doing CG for stuff that we just couldn't do practically, you know, unless we had like a way, way bigger budget. Mm-hmm. I get it. And, you know, for this, it's great. And it's not like it's fucking all CG. There's some shots of, like, the the suit with the guitar and with very real fire. And it's like, ah, yes, you know, uh, Toei's favorite 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 fire effect. (laughs) What if we just set the prop on fire for real? Yeah. It's your favorite thing. Also, we do we do get some like you know really sick uh, sick shots uh, where they're all fighting on top of the cars with the ninja letters. Oh my god, it's so cool. Uh, they made fucking Tokyo like like them being around being like relevant. Like oh, we could only build the champion uh, the champion uh, carrier because we 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 took a, some inspiration from like their locking mechanism, which is like yeah. cool. Does Sakito still have that? <laughs> I hope later, just like out of nowhere, he just pulls out Tokyo. Like, here you go. Uh, yeah. But yes, the shots fighting on top of the car is really cool. Uh, the fact that like this guy technically gets killed without uh, like fighting them himself, like he just gets fucking skewered on top of the car when they have like the big crash. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love that we actually got to see the Sun Seeders like have almost like a fucking team rocket explosion like all right we're got we, we gotta jump out of the cars and, yeah. and 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 of course me every episode now now that we're um this is episode 34 now that we have roughly maybe about 12 14 episodes left i'm just like it's like it's like please please live to the end oh god <laughs> like, what's it oh hey this is this is part three of wait 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 wait. you're you're you're, you're saying we have to root for these nerds when these guys exist <laughs> Yeah, for sure. The Sansitas really are great. Uh, I fucking love that uh, Sakita shows up and with Beundi and this one, and like, you know, this race, they're gonna fight. We're here to protect you guys. Not for free, though. <laughs> kind of funny that they're like leaning into that, but yeah. we get the big reveal. I was talking, I thought that maybe Dario was wanted, but no, we saw him. Dario was a Hashelia. I think you talked about this a while ago. Oh yeah, I I made the joke. I like, say, watch it's, it's gonna be something like Bundorio was uh, was a Hashalian or something. And I do love <laughs> that. Like we did get the confirmation like a while ago. Like Hashalians are not like a species; they're they're a gang. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, uh, the Hashalians R and D specialist, uh, Bundaria Bunderas, uh, yeah. and which to which we fucking have like Taya just fucking shoot and be like, you're not gonna do this, uh, but fucking he just admits it. Uh, and fucking Bundy's pissed. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. I... It, this has been, like, a my one problem, I think, with, like, Sakito and Bundy, is that I feel like they just don't want to use them these last couple episodes, so it's like, we gotta fucking think of some reason to not, to just put them over here instead. Yeah. And this feels like the latest one, because, like, they they were literally taking jobs from the Hushalians when we met them. It hasn't even been that long. <laughs> you figured if anyone would understand that it would be these two. Uh, and to be mm-hmm. fair, it's just Bundy who's pissed. But maybe there's going to be something else. Maybe we're going to get some more backstory on Bundy and why he's really pissed about this. And, like, taking jobs was one thing, but joining them was another. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, apparently Budaria joined the Hushalians and then faked his death. Which is honestly super cool. <laughs> it's metal. Uh, speaking of metal, we got the big boy fight. Uh, it's... Uh, honestly the like this guy is a bad guy he has a really sick design but like obviously he was there for like the mad max spectacle uh yeah. we get like, the big... like they spent much more time on oh, yeah. on, on that yeah, and we basically did. just get like sipu and dario ride the fucking <laughs> carrier through his chest and we're like okay this is over we are not worrying about this guy at all uh and then we get the big thing uh wild spinder reveal Yes, uh, and I believe I've told you this already too, right? That Wild Speed is the Japanese title of Fast and Furious. 
I think you have, but I'd forgotten. Uh, I love that he has a monkey. Uh, well, monkey gang rise up. Uh, this guy, that's fantastic. Uh, his design is pretty sick. Uh, there you, is you, something. You, uh-huh. I was just saying, yeah, I think you're about to get to it. Yeah, you you've seen the threads, right? That he is based on uh, on Michael Jackson. Uh, <laughs> I had not seen the threads. Oh, you haven't? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, yeah. When when like uh, because I'm not sure if you've actually like seen the actual like just regular like kind of cast photo they have for him. Right. But um, yeah, he actually is uh, he actually is he has so much um, he has so much um. Uh, uh, what's it called? Um, um, Michael Jackson uh, vibes to him. Like ah, yeah, cause like uh, he he has a uh, oh there okay there, uh, there it is. Um, Are you gonna uh, send it to me? Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna try finding it. I'm gonna try finding it really fast. But if you actually look closely at him, he has the thriller jacket. If you remember, uh, he, yeah, that um, is like the thriller jacket. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, Michael Jackson does have um the um, uh, does have uh did have a monkey bubbles um i had no idea about that i'd actually never heard about that once oh you never you never knew about his monkey bubbles i i i did not i do not know a lot of things just so we're clear okay okay fair enough fair enough uh, but yeah uh but yeah um, yeah michael jack uh, michael jackson did have a monkey named bubbles um there was an error i think it was for history um he basically had these um ridiculous um ridiculous uh, uh shin guards i see uh, yeah, but yeah, um, I but... hear the thing. Now that you said it, especially with like the trailer jacket, I see the resemblance. Like he, I see it. <laughs> it's not like but... far out. Uh, the big thing being, I also think it's really funny that like to show how like you was there's a guy who apparently you know told him that Bundario was dead, and he just like fries this guy. Uh, which is like, damn, that was a general, and I just thought it was kind of funny that it's like, damn, they made this general's design just to fucking kill him. Yeah. Oh um, yeah, it's yeah, but oh man, it's 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 so good like seeing it. And also here, okay, here 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 here's the full body. Well, not full body because you don't see his feet, but yeah, that's the, yeah. You could you could see that that's what spin uh, that's that's what Spinder looks like right now. God, I love that the monkey's got long ass arms too. It looks great. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, especially with the hat. This is very Michael Jackson coded. Uh, <laughs> yep. No, uh, I like this. It's a vibe. I didn't know Michael Jackson had a monkey. Uh, very, very cool of him. Uh, to be fair, I don't think you should keep them as pets. Love monkeys. Uh, let them be free. Uh, it's a cool design, and I love that now he's been introduced. And I just... It's always funny, because we get, like, oh, motivations for different people, and it's like, oh, we just want to be evil. And it's like, that's my guy you guys took. Yeah. <laughs> uh ah man i want to see the 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 bundaria backstory the like boom boom just falling apart because of his secret episode uh looks like it'll be a lot of fun uh we're still gonna see the roll call we're gonna actually see the fucking boom boom carrier like on the mech and they're gonna be on the moon uh oh i uh no i was gonna say it's like i i I totally didn't notice this too but um like uh the the carrier the carrier mech actually has all the wheels um across their uh like essentially all in a line um yeah they have like their helmets as wheels or whatever yeah Yeah. it's cute it's it's got it's got some nice touches uh but yeah they're gonna be on the moon they're gonna looks like take out this race uh or at least they're fighting this race i don't know if they're taking them out I guess, like, episode-wise, with the rate we've been going, that kind of makes sense. On the other hand, I don't know. I thought he'd stick around a little longer. Like, he's been the most menacing, and so I mm-hmm. thought it would take more to take him out. Yeah, but at the same time, I mean, like, you know, he he, he he's the marketing. He just he just, he just just sits back and lets everyone else do all the work, just like yeah. how he did with uh, Mad, oh, sorry, Mad Rex Fury. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe the final boss is... Uh... What's it called? Uh, the Fast, Fast and, and Furious, Furious Michael Jackson. <laughs> that's. I think that's just what we're ending the episode on. Thank you for <laughs> listening, guys. We will see you next week. Later. Later. This program is brought to you by our unending love of Tokusatsu. If you enjoyed the show, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And if you would like to support us further, consider becoming a patron at our Patreon, Half Hour Henshin. You can get some exclusive benefits, such as your name in the credits and joining our sticker club. Or, if you want to help with a one-time donation, you can also find us at Kofi at Half Hour Henshin. You can email us with any questions or theories at halfhourhenshin at gmail.com or on Twitter at Half Hour Henshin.